back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Over here with Alison from Wild Time Cooking. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm great. Good. Okay. You said I would be really happy with this oh, menu. Oh, you are going to be so happy with yeah. this. <laughs> okay. Well, what makes you think I'm going to love it so much? Well, I mean, I'm surprised you don't know this because this is more um, European. It's very French. Um, not that you're French, but <laughs> you love food. So yeah. I figured you'd maybe had this somewhere. But this is Belgium endive. Um, and it's similar to like a cabbage yep. or um, you see it like with radicchio, um, but it is a little more expensive. Sometimes people use it for appetizers. Like oh, they'll okay. use just one of the... Um, leaves, you know, as like a shell, All right. and then they might do a stuffing or something like that oh, in nice. there. So, um, but what we're doing is it's a side dish, Ooh. and it's used, um, like I said, a lot of times with French cooking, where they will cook it, which is what I've done right now, in a bit of butter, and not just butter, but browned butter. You see of how that? Of course it is. You see how that's browned? <laughs> of course <up>? it is. <laughs> brown butter. If you do not know about it, it will change your life. Because Does it come brown? No, no, no. Oh. You take butter and you melt the butter down and then it starts to foam and then it will go from just blonde to brown. Now there's a very like fine line between brown and burnt, but if you get it just right, it takes on this like nutty flavor and has just a little bit more like smell. It's very toasty, right? Will that spit in my face? No, no. Oh, yeah. You smell that? Yeah. Like it's, I can so smell it almost the calories. Like popcorn. I can smell the calories. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. A little butter never hurt anybody. <laughs> True. I think Julia Charles True. maybe said that one time. <laughs> there was this wonderful BBC show called Two Fat Ladies. Have you ever seen <laughs> no, them? No. Well, they're I love two the chefs. Name. They were fabulous. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, everyone look it up. It's called Two Fat Ladies. They smothered everything in butter. Mm. It is the best, mm. best cooking show you've ever seen. Well, it sounds like it. So I want to flip these over and show you how these start to caramelize and how they kind of crisp up on the edges. Ooh. Look at oh, that. My Is gosh. that not gorgeous? Yes. So we're going to let this just sit and braise a little bit in the okay. butter on a low heat. So you're going to show us how to make it. Yeah. Well, all you do is you take the endive. Super simple. And we're going to just cut it lengthwise. Yeah. That's all I've done to prep it. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> So difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can take care of that. So um, we took it and cut it in half and then just laid it in the butter and we let the butter brown a bit. How much butter? I like, used, it looks um, like you used about a, a quarter of a stick. So okay. only like maybe three that's tablespoons. It? Yeah, that's it. A little salt and pepper on the endive. Now here's where it's going to get a little bit fancier is we're going to do what's called a gremolata. And it's a walnut gremolata that's going to go right on top okay. when we take it out. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have you do some of this. Oh. So oh, we're going to. Oh, you know I'm not good at chopping. No, you're going to mince some parsley for me. So oh. just chop, 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 I chop. Know. Chop. I know. I hate it. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's just that I'm not very good at you're it. Doing great. See, I would get scissors and chop this. Oh, I know. You talk about those herb shears. I need to get a pair myself. I don't actually. They're just normal, <laughs> normal scissors. I pretend they're. <laughs> What do you call it? What did you call them? Herb shears. Yeah. Or herb shears, the way you'd say yeah. it. Yeah, herb. Um, so minced parsley, just fresh parsley. And then we have a bit of walnut pieces. And I'm just going to give those a little chop as well, just to make them all a little more even. How's that? Is that good enough? Beautiful. Or do yeah. I have to keep going? A little bit more. Oh. See how I'm going up and down? There you go. Look, Keith. Isn't there a parsley chopper? Maybe. Yeah. I call it a knife. <laughs> yeah, I get a little bit nervous with a knife. But to you be put your hand on you. top when you mince, and your fingers are totally safe. Yeah, I know, but it just hey, I have to tell you, I went to the liquor barn. Have uh -huh. you heard oh, of yeah, the liquor barn? It. We have friends oh, that come. Oh <laughs> my gosh! We have friends that come in ta to town just so they can go to the. Liquor okay, bar. so in Australia, well, in Italy, there's a, a liqueur or a, an aperitif called Cinzano Bianco. Oh, wow. It's like it's like a um, it, am I done now? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a white wine, but it's not really. You just pour it over ice. Oh, nice! Well, when are you gonna I have me over? It. I found it. <laughs> I was so happy. I bought out everything that they had there because it's un it's discontinued in Australia. Oh! So it had been several years since I'd seen it, and so last night I was at home waiting for my. Um, uh, crock pot to finish cooking. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I, I think that's maybe why I didn't enjoy the crock pot. Because <laughs> I enjoyed the Cinzano Bianco a little mm. bit too much on my own. But I love that 
uh, alcohol barn, what's it called? Uh, liquor barn. Liquor barn. <laughs> liquor barn, <laughs> it's alcohol good. Alcohol barn. Okay, well, so you've chopped it. <laughs> so we took just the walnuts, the fresh parsley, then we're going to go with a little bit of citrus. Yep. So just some fresh lemon juice in there. Again, this is very, very simple, but such an elegant side dish nice. um, to go with your dinners. And then some salt, some pepper. Yep. And we'll give that a little stir. Good. I'm good at the stirring. Okay. I can stir. <laughs> and is that it done? Yeah. So I want to show you this. You're That's. Gonna oh, I love the smell of. So you're gonna take that beautiful <gasps> endive on the plate. It's nice and soft, Yum. and it almost gets. Oh my gosh! It look just, at it. It just gets so soft and tender that it just. Is um, it like a fennel? Oh, I can't wait to taste it's that. It's not anise. No, it's really like a um, savory cabbage. Do you want you me to put this, this on here? This is going to go on top. And if you want, on you top? could eat it. You know what? I'm going to wreck that. You do it. Okay. Because I'm worried that I won't make it look pretty for you. Your hands are your best tools. Oh. So you take oh, a see, bit I of that gremolata on there. <sighs> And then if you even wanted to, you could blister it under oh, the broiler. Well, as always, absolutely stunning. If you want to see this recipe, head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. You'll see the recipe. Click on it. And everyone, we'll be right back after this short break. Yum. Uh. Thank you.